Hello, everyone. We are continuing with the UCX video series. My name is Andres Zuniga, and in this video, we'll cover the first steps necessary to let UCX know what your future catalog and schema design is going to look like for the migration. We do have some prerequisites to make sure we cover, so let's take a look at the repo. Those are UCX needs to be installed in the workspace, of course. We have some special configurations if we have an external Metastore, such as Glue, so make sure you review the right guides. The assessment workflow job must be already executed. We recommend having already completed the group migration process, if applicable. And finally, Unity Catalog needs to be enabled on the workspace, so a Metastore should be already in place and linked. The upgrade process begins pretty simple. We just need to execute the create table mapping command to take the output detected tables from the assessment from which UCX will create a new CSV file. We will need to modify this new CSV file to ensure that our predefined design is correctly configured. Before executing the command, let's review my assessment results. For demo purposes, I only have two tables in Hive, one external and one managed. My external table is pointing to a storage location in the cloud. OK, let's execute the command. The created CSV file will be saved into the application's UCX folder that was created during the installation of the tool. Here is the command that I will execute. We have the first portion, which is Databricks, just to make sure that we are calling the Databricks CLI. Labs, which is the command group for the Labs organization projects. UCX, to make sure that we are calling the right project and then the command, which is create table mapping. In this case, I'm using this profile, which is the one that has access to my workspace. So let's execute it. UCX will take the authentication, authenticate to the workspace, and then execute the commands. After the command runs, a new tab will be opened on the browser. This tab contains the newly created CSV, which maps to the old tables to the new three-level naming configuration. This CSV contains a set of columns. Those are the name of the workspace. This is useful if you are working with multiple workspaces. The target catalog to which we are going to migrate. The source schema and the destination schema. This is Hive and Unity Catalog. And the same thing for the table, source and destination. We must ensure that we choose the right catalog and schema, and we can also modify the table name. In this case, I will modify my catalog name a bit. Let's call them UCX Migrated Catalog Managed for the first one, and UCX Migrated Catalog External for the second one, just so we can keep track of the migration. We'll leave the rest as it is. This configuration is easy when we have a low number of records, such as in this case. But when we are working with a large number of tables, our recommendation is to export the CSV to your machine and modify it on any external tabular software. This will help you avoid mistakes and make sure that you are inputting the right configuration for your environment. In the next video, we'll see what the commands necessary are to give UCX workflows access to the cloud storage to be able to make the necessary changes on the cloud. Thank you.